Eugene Selstick was a motivational athlete during the 1950s and 70s for beach volleyball. After his playing days, he continued to be involved in beach volleyball by coaching Olympic athletes. He received many awards for his success. Gene's leadership motivated many athletes to play the sport. His legacy continued through his teammates and his players. In the 1920s, Hawaii started playing beach volleyball. Ten years later, people played beach volleyball to escape the Depression. In the 1950s, beach volleyball became a lifestyle in California, just like surfing. Beach volleyball also became an entertainment show, also known as Beach Mania. The first two-man beach volleyball tournament was held at State Beach, California in 1947. There was no prize money. A year later, the first prize was Pepsi. Circuit tournament play began in California. The California Beach Volleyball Association was also formed. The idea of a professional league formed, but the league failed to be started. Beach volleyball first appeared in the Olympics in 1996 in Atlanta. Not only the best volleyball player in our country, but he was the most fun. And anybody who plays beach volleyball or indoor volleyball, volleyball for that matter, knows who Gene Selznick is. But the stories you hear about Gene, you know that he was the best player who ever played the game. He was a wizard. I mean, he was absolutely amazing. He was the king. Nobody could come close. He had a, a, a drive to him, different than everybody else. Some people have a drive where they're real serious all the time and they don't smile. Gene had a drive, but he smiled. And... Eugene was the first American to be named to the FIVB All-World American Volleyball Team. Eugene and his partner, Everett Keller, got their first major victory in the 1950s Men's Open at State Beach, California. He also dominated with his partners in the 1956 international competition. From 1953 to 1967, Gene was the captain of the U.S. men's international volleyball team. He led them to championship titles in 1960 and 1966. In 1956, Gene was awarded with the International All-Star Team MVP honor. Eugene led the gold medal winning 1963 U.S. Women's Pan American Games team to the 1964 Olympics. He also coached the men's volleyball team in the 1996 Olympics. After winning several tournaments such as the men's open in 1950 and an international competition, he retired from playing and coached Holly McPeak and Misty Maytrainer in the 2000 Olympics. I remember what, at one nationals, uh, Gene took every serve overhand, and every time he took it overhand, he got called for a throw. But he wouldn't stop. And this was in the finals of the finals of men's open. And referee Murray Perhan called a foul, a, a throw on him every time. But he was taking it cleanly. He was trying to prove that you can receive a ball overhand cleanly. And uh, he was a stubborn man. And, uh, but he had a point to make, and he did his best to do that. Beach volleyball during the 1960s changed into a well-organized competitive sport. The movement was led by Gene Selznick, who proclaimed himself to be the first king of the beach. During tournaments or a pickup play, Selznick was the man that everybody followed. Selznick won day in and day out, no matter who he played with. Selznick Kingdom was State Beach. Wilt Chamberlain quit his NBA career to try and restore his body. Gene persuaded him to join and train with him for the beach volleyball tour, also known as the Chamberlain Tour, because of how greatly Will and Gene impacted the sport. I kind of look at him as the Babe Ruth of volleyball. He was playing in Brazil. Gene Selznick was inducted into the Volleyball Hall of Fame in 1988. He also received MVP from the U.S. Hall of Fame. Gene is considered one of the two or three best American volleyball players. He brought footwork and speed to the game that no one had seen before. 